Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, February 8th. It's my nephew Mike's um, birthday. He's I'm trying to think how old he is. 17, 34. And my Uncle Bob, who lives in Minnesota, it's his 85th birthday. So happy birthday to both of them. Neither one watch me. Neither one gets a song. <laughs> um, I, I'll probably, I won't see my Uncle Bob till um, September when we go for uh, Stuart and Emma's uh, wedding in Ottawa, which I'm really looking forward to. I really am. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be the, if Christy and Aaron don't go, uh, I'm going to be the one that has to drive us back across the border. And so I told Jim, if that's the case, we're taking my car because I'm not driving that big old truck over the border. <laughs> I uh, almost got into an accident yesterday, which wasn't my fault. Sound like Denise now. But uh, I was picked David up from school and we stopped by his house so he could let his dog out. And he could drop his stuff off, his school stuff and that, before he came back over here. Because he shoots on an archery league with Jim on Wednesday nights. And so he just comes here after school. And um, anyway, so what we were driving, and we were on the main street. And uh, for some reason, the guy didn't think he had to stop for the stop sign. So we both swerved. And luckily, there was no oncoming traffic. So I was able to swerve into that lane. And uh, so I was fine with that. And, uh, you know, he went, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what he was thinking. He was probably just like on his phone or something. I don't know. But uh, he would have hit me in my uh, front end that needs to be fixed. So that, you know, I probably should have let him hit me and then I could have got it fixed. Uh, I have a, I don't know if I have a $500 deductible or a $1,000 deductible, but I, I should get it fixed. I can't bring my car through a car wash because I'm afraid the thing's going to rip the whole bumper off. The uh, accident happened in 2012, so it's not like... It's a fresh wound, as they say. But uh, my plans for today is I'm supposed to go pick up David from school today. Um, he doesn't like taking the bus, and his friend isn't uh, feeling well, so he didn't go to school today. So David texted me and asked me if I'd pick him up and bring him home. And then I have to pick Alyssa up from school. Uh, Jimmy's working out of town, but he's going to be home later tonight. So um, I told him I'd pick her up. And then what other plans do I have? That's about it. Stay on track. Uh, I'm really hungry today, so I am going to eat three meals. I know that for sure. But um, I'm going to eat norm earlier than I normally do because I am hungry. You know, I don't have it set in stone that I can't eat till 1 o'clock because um, I eat when I'm hungry. And that's what I'm doing now. Not what I did in the past. I'd wake up and eat just to eat. And I'd eat all day just to eat all day. Now I listen to my body, and if I'm hungry, I eat. Yesterday I really wasn't that hungry, so I didn't really eat that much. But uh, I'm hungry today, <laughs> so I will be eating. But anyway, I thought I'd answer um, a couple comments. Um, you guys have never told me that you don't want your name mentioned, so anytime you leave a comment, you know, let me know if you don't want me to say your name. But um, we're going to start with Cindy. And see, this is probably why you don't want me to say it, or maybe you do want me to say it because you want to see how I'm going to screw up your name <laughs> because I have a hard, hard time sometimes with these names. But I think her name is Cindy Gorecki. Let me know, Cindy. But anyway, she told me I should donate my old clothes to Goodwill. Uh, we have a, a, a thing around here, which is Purple Heart, which I don't know if they're all around the United States, but it's for the veterans. And uh, they call me once a month, and I usually give them something once a month. I like buying new clothes because I know I could go to the Salvation Army and get some clothes. I, I'm funny that way. I don't. I, I mean, I know when I go to the store and I try something on, somebody else has tried it on. But I just feel weird wearing clothes that somebody else wore. No, that's just me. I don't know. Plus, I like the fact that I can go into a store now and I can buy clothes. <laughs> with, um, I whistled. I must need more teeth or something. But anyway, um, I, I like that. But I did save one pair of jeans uh, that I want to hold up, which I did hold up, hold up, held up. Yeah, one that I did. One pair of jeans that I have <laughs> that I hold up to show you how much I've lost. And uh, I did that. Well, I did it on a video, a couple videos ago. Not more than a couple videos ago. But. Um, I want to have it for the end, and I want to see if I can fit both my whole body in the one leg. I don't think I was that big, but maybe I was. We'll see. But anyway, I, I like to compare it. But my other clothes is I'm outgrowing them, 
I get rid of them. Uh, in the past, I always thought, I better keep them in case I get back into them. I don't have that mindset anymore. I'm not getting back in those clothes. Plus, they're so old. I don't need them anymore. Uh, MD, she changed her, her channel name. And I didn't understand her. I don't know if she wants me to say her other name or what. But anyway, I know who you are. That's all that matters. Um, she said that she likes to hibernate in the winter, too. Uh, and it's not a... It's not a good thing to do, I know, but uh, sometimes you just do. This weekend we're supposed to, well, it's supposed to start tonight around, I think they said 11 or 12 o'clock tonight, and we're supposed to get uh, six to eight inches of snow through tomorrow, and then it's supposed to continue on through Saturday to get two to three more inches. So I'm not really sure we're going to have a meeting on Saturday. I'm hoping. Uh, if not, I'll just get on my scale at home, and uh, I'll try to do some kind of a highlight meeting on, on my own. Who's to know? Um, Sharon Heffron said that uh, she measures herself and that I probably should do that. Uh, I never measured myself. Uh, well, I did once, and I was, like, mortified to see how big my butt really was. And I, I just don't measure myself. I, I don't know why. I have a measuring tape. But I, I think I get, you know, like I, different parts of your body, you know, like you can measure them in different, and they're just different. I don't know. Unless you had someone else measuring you. When I went to Curves, they used to measure you like every so often. And uh, I felt that that was a more accurate measurement than what I do. And yes, Cindy Pope, when I go to the doctor's next month for my annual physical, I will definitely get my shots. Um, like I said, I don't think of myself as being old, but I am old. And uh, this flu season has really got me concerned. Because I'm out so much more than I was last year. And, you know, I can even just get it from my grandkids because, you know, they're like walking, um, what do you call them? Incubators. Is it incubators? Anyway, they're a walking disease sometimes <laughs> because they pick up everything. But, you know, I'm still going to hug them. I'm still going to kiss them. I'm still going to take my chances. Um, Mimi2010. I, I answered in my comments, good for you. You know what? The, after I hit the send, you know, or whatever, reply button, it just looks snarky. And I didn't mean it to be snarky at all because, you know, like sometimes what you say and how you say it are completely different things. I got a message here. I got to get rid of it. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound the same on paper as it would have out loud. But when I said good for you, I meant, yeah, good for you. You're doing really good. I, I need to be doing that too. What she does is she walks in place while she's watching YouTube videos. And... I get up every once in a while and do little leg stretches and stuff like that, but not as much as I should. Uh, Suzanne at underscore life begins. Um, she's now doing keto, and but she said that she has lost weight on fruit. But you know, like like I said, I have to spread it out through the day. I can't eat it all at once. I gotta spread it out. Uh, Kay <laughs> Kay Layton, you made me laugh. <laughs> she said she walked ten minutes yesterday and she hated it. <laughs> Well, you know what? You walked 10 minutes longer than me, or worked out 10 minutes longer than I did. But Susan Moon said she goes to Curves. We used to have a Curves that was right over here, and Denise and I used to go all the time, but then they closed it, and now it's a, um, a dental clinic. I don't need to get my teeth done. I just did that the other day. Um, Lynn told me, which I never thought of, and I completely forgot, I was worried about putting the treadmill downstairs because the kids would be playing on it, is they have a, the key that you can put in it to lock it in place so that they can't do anything with it. So, yeah, I forgot all about that. So I'm definitely going to get one. Not only that, I'll have the exercise of going up and down the stairs if I put it down the basement. Not that that's a lot of stairs. Well, you know what? It's 15 stairs. I have a very deep basement with a, a tall, taller ce a ceiling than normal basements. Um... Okay, Vicki Wolab, Wolab, sorry. Um, her quote is, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. I, I so agree with that. You're so smart. You're wise beyond your years. I do like that quote. Um, witchy, wi witchy womb, witchy womb. I think it's supposed to be like witchy woman, but it's witchy womb. Um, she said that my fruit always looks so good. I have which I've learned from Weight Watchers with Carrie, because she had it, was the Rubbermaid, um, I'm itchy today, um, the Rubbermaid fruit, no, uh, containers, they have like little vents in them, and it works so much better than the Tupperware. I have the Tupperware, 
and which has the little air vents that you open. But I have to tell you that this Rubbermaid product is way better. It really is. I, I'll try to show it with my breakfast. I'll show you what it looks like. They're a little expensive. They're a little pricey. But in the long run, they're really, really worth it. And like she says, that being content and being happy are two different things. And, you know, I was content to be at my weight. But now I'm happy that I'm losing weight. So I understand exactly what she's saying. Uh, Nancy Volk said she watches my video before she goes to bed. She's a brave soul. You know, sometimes my videos can lead to nightmares. <laughs> Just seeing this face before you go to bed. Ah! Nightmare! <laughs> so, um... And Nikki Bescure says that um, I look like I'm in my 50s. Well, thank you. You know what? One of my sisters and I always said that the reason we like being heavy is because the heavier you are, the less wrinkles you have because your face is like so full. And I do, I hate my chicken neck. I Or not chicken neck, a turkey neck. I hate this turkey neck. But uh, I like the rest of my body, so I'll put up with that. You know, I can always like cover it up. That's not who I am. You know, this is who I am. This is me. This is me. I don't care. Um, I don't care if you look at it or anything. I just, I, it just, it bothers me. But if that's the least of my worries in life, <laughs> I got nothing to worry about. Um, Diana Dravinsky, you made me laugh. I never even thought of it. You'd think I would have thought of it after all these years, but she went, bye-bye, birdie. Just like the movie, bye-bye, birdie. I do like that movie. I love Paul Lynn. I really did. But he was such a tortured soul, they said, which is sad. Um, a Journey for Me. Want to know where I got the Panera dressing? I get it at Kroger, and it's in the refrigerator section, which is right next to the like the salads and the produce. And, uh, you know, all the other, like the Bolt House, and uh, like you, when you get your cheeses and your guacamole and all that, that's where I get it in that section. Uh, Cynthia Square reminded me of all the games I used to play. Yes, uh, Jax and Hula Hoop and Mother May I and Red Rover, Red Rover and Monkey in the Middle. I remember all of those. And uh, Diana Easel pointed out that, w that nowadays people fight to get the closest parking spot. And really, if you just parked a little bit farther, you'd get a little bit more exercise in for the day. And that's what I do. I try to park as far away as I can. Uh, I don't want to be alone. Although that doesn't, you know, like if I shop at night, I'd rather be far away and alone because then I can spot anybody by my car. I know, you're old, you shouldn't shop at night, you shouldn't shop when it's dark, but um, that's who I am. Okay, uh, let's go eat breakfast. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Boy, my plate looks like a pirate. Anyway, I have a cup of tea, a glass of water, my grapefruit, a banana, a half of a bagel, a hard-boiled egg, and some bacon. Um, I use the Kroger center cut bacon, I use the Lenders bagels, and the Jif peanut butter. And these are the containers I was telling you about that uh, it keeps the fruit really fresh. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is from Cindy Pope, who got it from Eleanor Roosevelt. With a new day comes new strength. 25 smart points, zero for my egg, my tea, my water, my grapefruit, only my banana, three for my half a bagel, one for my teaspoon of peanut butter, and three for my four slices of center cut bacon. It's a seven point breakfast. I have 18 points left for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm just waiting for David. He should be out here in about five minutes or so. So um, this is going to be a two part video, so stay tuned. I will see you guys later on.